repositioning procedures for trailers equipped with SAF air ride or mechanical slider suspensions. In preparation for repositioning your SAF slider suspension, park the vehicle on a level surface. Set the tractor and trailer brakes. Next, exit the cab and locate the slider quick release pull arm handle or air release control valve. To reposition the slider, first remove the manual stop bar. If you are moving the slide box rearward, position the manual stop bar directly behind the desired slide box position. If you are moving the slide box forward, place the manual stop bar directly behind the slide box after the slider has been moved to its final position. Next, lift and pull the quick release pull arm handle from the engaged position to the disengaged position. If your slider is equipped with an air release pin pull mechanism, pull the air release control valve knob to disengage the lock pins. Note, the trailer brakes must be engaged for the air release control valve to operate. Visually check to ensure the lock pins are in the disengaged position and that the quick release pull arm is locked in the disengaged position. If the lock pins fail to retract, additional action is necessary to fully disengage the bound lock pins. Follow this simple procedure to free the bound pins. Return to the cab and release the tractor brakes only. Warning: While performing the following procedures, always verify the surrounding area is clear of others before moving the vehicle. Gently rock the tractor and trailer back and forth while listening for the lock pins to disengage. Note, the quick-release torsion spring will automatically retract the lock pins when the pressure on the lock pins is released. If equipped with the air release pin pull mechanism, the air chamber push rod will automatically retract the lock pins when the pressure on the lock pins is released. After the metallic clang of the lock pins disengaging is heard, reset the tractor brakes. Next, visually verify that the lock pins have been properly disengaged. Once the lock pins have disengaged, return to the cab and release the tractor brakes only. To move the slide box rearward, slowly move the tractor forward until the slide box contacts the manual stop bar. To move the slide box forward, slowly move the tractor rearward to the desired position. If you move the slider forward, place the manual stop bar directly behind the slide box. Visually check that the manual stop bar is properly installed directly behind the slide box. Warning: Failure to properly install or position the manual stop bar could result in improper trailer load distribution, which, if not avoided, could result in damage to the suspension or trailer parts. Set the tractor and trailer brakes. Lift and push the quick release pull arm handle from the disengaged position to the engaged position. If your slider is equipped with an air release pin pull mechanism, push the air release control valve knob in to engage the lock pins. The pins should engage the upper rail holes. Visually check to verify the lock pins are fully engaged and extend completely through the holes in the upper rail. Warning: An unsecured slider box can cause loss of vehicle control which, if not avoided, could result in property damage, serious injury, or death. If pins fail to engage properly, follow these simple procedures. Return to the cab and release the tractor brakes only. Gently rock the tractor and trailer back and forth while listening for the lock pins to engage. Note, the quick release torsion spring will automatically engage the lock pins when the pressure on the lock pins is released. If equipped with the air release pin pull mechanism, the air chamber push rod will automatically engage the lock pins when the pressure on the lock pins is released. After the metallic clang of the lock pins engaging is heard, reset the tractor brakes. The pins should engage the upper rail holes. Visually check to verify the lock pins are fully engaged and extend completely through the holes in the upper rail. Visually check that the manual stop bar is properly installed directly behind the slide box. Repositioning of your SAF air or mechanical slider suspension is now complete.